Welcome to Let's Fly VFR and our first ever question from a subscriber. So a big thanks out there to Bobo for giving us a call. Now this is all about just simply uh, locating uh, and saving and manipulating objects in Overlay Editor. It's pretty simple, so let's get on with it. And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. And this is just a quick video for uh, one of our one of my new subscribers, Bobo. Bobo's doing a little bit of work, but uh, just trying to work out how to use Overlay Editor. So I thought I would use this one. This is um, the nearest civil airport to my hometown in New South Wales. So I thought I'd have a look here, and um, I'm thinking about flying across here in the sim somewhere in the in the future. So now, I, I suspect there are probably going to be buildings here anyway, but his question was, how do I locate and how do I, uh, I think, manipulate uh, objects and then save them? So we're just going to deal with it really quickly. Okay, so once you've got, I think it's pretty obvious that he's got Overlay Editor already uh, installed, and uh, I hope you've got some uh, libraries already installed as well. Um, I think he's got that far, but it's it's just about what we're going to do from here. So um, if we're looking for a hanger, what we can do here is we can just type in hanger at the very top there, and there's just lots of them. There's lots. So we can just click on one. Now I'm looking for something mm, somewhat silver. So let's go down a little further. I'm having a guess it's going to be really big, but... So we've clicked on it, we've selected it, and what it's going to do is we're going to use this plus sign to put that into our scene. And where it's going to appear is, if I zoom in, you should now be able to see that red cross, and I think that's always pointing north. So wherever we push the button, that's where it will appear. So there we go. That's an enormously large hanger. So we can use... Uh, page up and page down to move our angle of view. We can use end and home to rotate our view as well. So if you like a little bit of a lower angle and you can see what you're doing, then um, you can do that. Now, um, I don't want to use that once, but what you would do is you could then place it. You can then rotate the actual object with Q and E. And again, it rotates around the red dot. Okay, this little dot over here. If we put it over here next to the red dot, I'm not sure if you can see it, but hopefully you can. It will just rotate around it. So that's pretty easy. But let's get rid of that. Let's see if we can find a smaller hanger. Let's try that one. Ooh, it's not very small, is it? Uh, try that one. Okay, this is getting a little bit closer to the mark. Um, its doors are closed. That's unfortunate. There are quite a lot of hangers that um, doors are open. And uh, you can go ahead and place aircraft inside the hangar and people and everything. So that's a reasonably close representation, short of the fact that it's not um, grey. If we find a light grey one, that would be really nice. But uh, not, not at the moment. So anyway, it suffice to do what we want to do. And that's just show you. Oh, there's one. Let's try that. We'll be clicking around. That might be useful there. So let me rotate, I'll use the E to rotate, and that one's open. So that can go on that second smaller hanger that you can see there on the very left of the screen. Now I can grab that with the mouse, left mouse button, drag it across, and it's a pretty close representation of at least size. So we can put that down there. Now I suspect... Um, because I did try and do this for yesterday, Bobo, but I had some sound issues. I've just had a PC reset, so still a few things um, I'm sorting out. But So if we have that there, we might very well have uh, a, 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 a bit of default scenery already in place. What do we want to do, though? Now, we've got two hangers in place, so we're starting to assemble this uh, airport. We want to save it, so all we need to do is to go to the Save button here. Okay, so just go up here, and this will put it automatically in your custom scenery library. 
Okay, so it'll be there waiting for you next time you kick the sim in the gear. So let's call this one um, Mirandera. And I can't remember the OK code. Here, I'll flick down and have a grab. Narendra Airport, and we looked at it, it's Y-N-A-R, so we can put that away. Y-N-A-R, this probably wasn't that hard to work out, was it? So we can click OK. So now we have, we have the beginnings of an airport. So your lines and stuff that are already there, you will see those, they will be there. Um, we need to go into the sim to see how much of the grass and stuff will be there, whether there will be many trees. But if we want to put trees in, that's something we can do. It's very, very easy to do. This is the main highway that goes between uh, Leeton and Narendra in New South Wales. This airport sits in the middle of that, those two towns. Narendra is reasonably close. And up here on the Murrumbidgee River, which snakes its way past here. So you've got the river to find as well. And uh, yeah, so that's it. So it's, it's as simple as that, Bobo. If you just select an object, um, let's grab a couple of aeroplanes and put some aeroplanes in place. Um, there is a library here with uh, flyby planes. These are literally flybys. So they will be in the air somewhere. So, and I like to put in some gliders to keep you guys on your toes. So oh, don't use the scroll wheel when <laughs> you want to pick something. There's some static ones, right? We'll do the static ones. So there's, uh, oh, that's a terrible looking colour, isn't it? Green one. Okay. So let's go down here and we'll put, um, we might put a, oh, that looks like a car park area. So we maybe we shouldn't go over there. Let's put a couple over here in front of our hangar. Okay. So we go here and I'm just going to hit the plus key. Boop. Sitting in place. I can use the left mouse button and just grab it a little and put that over here. And let's see what else we've got here to play with. We've got a rally. What do you like? Green or a blue? Let's go with the blue. And we'll click blue, and that's there. I'm going to use the E key on my keyboard just to rotate it around. And I'm going to put that one inside. And you get shadow and everything. So if I, if I lower the view, you can see that he's parked inside the hangar. And you could put people in there. Let's get some people. P-E-O-P-L-E, -E, last time I had a look, and the 3D People Library here. Now, most of these are all fixed, and they're not animated. There is one guy with a broom. If you find the guy with a broom, he will stand there and be brushing away that one spot every time you turn up at the airport. But we have a male crew member there, so let's hit the plus. There he is, down there. And now if you want to move him around, you can, you can grab him, put him over here, put him inside, over here next to the aircraft, you can have him, you can turn him around, you use the D to move him back again, D and S will move him around as well, from left to right, but his rotation is Q and E. So we can come back out, we can go cyclist, and we can have a maintenance dude, let's run around over here down here, a maintenance person down there, pop, so that's done, farm if you want, walking, fire, girls, girls sitting, so we've got a, a girl sitting down here on the grass, doesn't matter, all it does, it just makes the scene a little bit more alive instead of just turning up to an empty ground, uh, empty airport, so I hope that's helpful. Um, I'm going to continue to, to build this one now that I've started, but that's simply it. Click on an object here, click on the plus, and then it will appear here on your screen. Place it where you would like it. You can move that a little bit. There we go. And maybe just rotate that a little bit. And uh, just remember to save it. And it's as simple as that. Um, you know, right, oh, I just hit the plus button, so it's Put another one on there. Um, you can put your street lights here if you want some lights. Uh, Omni. Remember Omni? That's a nice easy one to do. And if we just straighten up there, we can go here, we can go plus, go down a bit, plus, and then we'll put one here at the entrance, the main entrance. Put one on the other side. Come back up. One opposite the original other one. 
approximately there, pop up there, and you can put a light train wherever you like. Um, it's always nice to have them up here, and that means the airport will, if it's not already, will have additional lights or it will have lighting um, when you uh, when you turn up there if you come in in the evening. Um, you can do the lighting, you can do um, Oh, we've got a uh, windsock there. So, you know, it's the beginnings, but that's all you need to do to, to populate a um, an airport guy. So, uh, with that, I'm going to leave you, and I uh, hope that's helpful for you, Bobo. If I can help you do anything else, just send me another message, mate. And uh, thanks, everyone, for coming and visiting Let's Fly VFR. I will catch you again real soon.